Hopefully, every semester we teach foundation theory here at the college. The part that resonates with the students most of all is five element theory. Everyone loves five element theory. They can relate to it. They can see it around them. So the five elements, they're fire, they're wood, they're water, earth, metal. They're things that are exist in our everyday lives. So why don't you and I have a bit of a chat about each element? That's a great idea. Five element actually is a one of the most important in traditional TCM theory. And, uh, and this is knowledge, you know, affecting all, like a, like a part in nature, human, all blend together. And a part in internal, external blend together. This one thing, even practice for 35 years now, every day I explain to my patient the five element theory. That's why I think this is a great idea yeah. that we go deeper to explain to people in detail what is a five element. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's start with water elements, shall we, Dr. Mm -hmm. Lee? Yes. I think we should start with water because water is the deepest of, the all, of all the elements. If you dig a hole as deep as you can possibly dig it, you will always find water. So I always describe water element to students as being the most yin, the most cooling, moistening, nourishing of all of the elements. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I love water element. One half of water element is uh, very important, especially for male and female. And uh, I find in the uh, male for mostly all their life, water element play a big part in male's mm -hmm. life. But for female, near 50 or after 50, water play a big part in female's life. Yes. And is that because, Dr. Lee, the associated organs of the water element are the reproductive organs. Is that why they affect women after that certain age, as their reproductive organs start to naturally decline? Exactly. So if someone has a problem, for example, menopause, we know it's a problem with the water element because of that association. Yes, for example, in water element, kin the yin organ, the kidney, yang organ, bladder, open into the ear, relay with the bone. So you can see when people are getting older and the uh, kidney qi deficiency, kidney yin deficiency, then they into a lot of, you know, for female particularly, menopause, half flesh, and uh, sweating at night, you know, a lot of these uh, symptoms come to them. Okay, so that makes sense. If the uh, yin organ is the kidney, the yin organ of the water element is the kidney, and in Chinese medicine, the kidney is the root of our health, the absolute essence of our well-being. Yes. As we get older, our kidney and therefore our water element starts to decline. And of course, the common problems as we get older, our bones start to weaken, our reproductive organs start to mm -hmm. decline. And teeth as well are an extension of bone, aren't they? So as people get older, they start to lose their own teeth. The water element opens into the ears, as people get older, their hearing declines. So that all makes sense, it all pulls together. Yes, I think a water element really, really, really important. For, for example, for me, I was, uh, I'm 56 this year, and I started at age 50. I never know what is raining in the ear, you know, feel like until age 50, they started to come to me. So then the kidney, and then I noticed that my kidney, yin kidney, qi getting deficiency. And you know, your frequency go to washroom. So the kidney, qi deficiency, cause the bladder, qi deficiency. So joints start to, you know, irritate. So they're happening a lot. Mm -hmm. Symptoms that come to you become a life textbook. Exactly, yeah, life textbook is a great way to put it. So when you see a collection of all of these symptoms together, we start to think about the water element because the great thing about five element theory is that they bring together lots of pieces of information all under the umbrella of one element. Yes. So if somebody has a problem with their ears, their bones, their urination, their reproduction, 
they're not all separate symptoms. They all come together under the umbrella of the water element. Yes. Uh, for example, we're treating a lot of male for like uh, infertility. For that, we try to through treatment increase the kidney qi, kidney yang to stimulate their sperm's activity and uh, you know like uh, quality. That is uh, related to kidney too. So kidney play big part in the male's life, and uh, you know like from beginning their life to you know. With even the older age, the all kidney is a major organ for the male. So I think that the male should be nurturing the kidney, no matter which age. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Water element uh, really does resonate with, with males. And we are born with all of our elements. We sit in one of them more than the other. We all have a dominant element characteristic but everybody should always be nourishing their water element because by what by nourishing the water element you nourish the yin organ which is the kidney and the kidney is the root of our health so if you keep your water element strong you're looking after your health as a whole picture exactly i also feel you know like a way treating patient and um, co-hand the co feet a lot of is uh, in my infertility patient treatment they have a co-hand the co feet uh, you know, they have other disorder of balance, but uh, that is uh, one of a uh, major reason for certain percent of patient. When we treating the patient, use uh, nutrient the kidney qi, kidney yang, and uh, you know, the first sense the beginning, they so cold, hand feet so cold, they use a husband as a warmer at the night, and the husband always feel oh so cold, and then later on they with the treatment, the first thing they feel so high they say, Doctor Lee, I see great results. And what I ask, what happened? They say, Oh, I don't need my husband anymore. My hand feet warm now. Then they say, Oh, sometimes I have to stick your feet out from the blanket because it's so warm. So I've been cold hand cold feet for ten years. This is the first time I feel the warmness. That's why your nutrient kidney, kidney chi, kidney yang actually make a bigger difference on the symptoms mm. wise. Mm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And as you mentioned, that tends to happen at night time, people feel colder. Yeah. And of course that's because the water element resonates with the night time. It's, it's time in five element theory is midnight. Mm -hmm. It's action is slumber. So actually being asleep. So one of the best ways to nourish your water element is just to have good deep sleeps during the dark mm -hmm. nighttime hours. It's not that difficult. Yeah, that's great. I have one more example is um, in, as you know, kidney related emotion, five emotion is a fear. Mm. I we find in the clinical, I have a lot of patients, they fear nurse from very young age to even senior because of the fear in their life when the, maybe the kidney deficiency cause fear or fear cause a kidney deficiency, you know, that part, so the fairness, a lot of fear with the nutrient the kidney mm -hmm. can reduce the, reduce the emotional. Absolutely, and that makes, yeah. makes perfect yeah. sense because as people do age, we do become fearful. We become, it's, it's scary aging. Mm -hmm. So people become more fearful as they, as they age and decline. And that's also part of the water element, natural decline. So of course, if somebody's not fearful though, they may be the other end of it. They may be completely reckless and cause havoc everywhere. And that still tells us that this, the water element is out of balance. So the personality type of the water element is very stable, very strong, very rooted, um, not easily shaken by anything. Exactly. Yeah. I hope people should be water element. That'd be really good element yes. to be with. And, um, but uh, sometimes a little uh, different is uh, when water element deficiency, water can control fire. So fire is a hard fire can be, you know, can be out of control because water deficiency causes fire. Also the wood element need uh, water to nutrient. If uh, water element is deficiency can cause uh, wood liver have uh, symptoms too. So they know this uh, beautiful with beauty, with the uh, five element is, uh, you know, they are connecting. This one thing, traditional Chinese medicine, never thinking 
all can one by one by themselves mm -hmm. they all relate they join Absolutely. together yeah. yeah that's a really key part of five element mm -hmm. theory it helps you to see how everything relies on each on each other how everything is connected and then affects each other as well yeah so does the water element um, resonate with a particular season or a color how do we know if somebody has a problem with their water element yeah like a water element related to the winter season right so like uh, you know when when winter coming you know you need a more nutrient your water element more this is why in traditional Chinese medicine they have a certain season you have a certain food nutrient certain organ so that's very important that you are practitioner you see a TCM practitioner or uh, acupuncture doctor they have a knowledge to nutrient we call seasonal treatment to nutrient your different mm -hmm. season nutrient different organ right yes perfect it's a great idea so when winter comes around even if somebody's feeling well they should start to nourish their water element preventatively because it's coming into its season, yes. the winter season. Um, particularly, the color of the water element is blue or black. So yes. would eating foods of that color help to nourish the water element? Thank you, yeah. This is why in the winter time, we're eating a lot of like um, black bean and uh, and black sesame seeds Perfect, yeah. and uh, certain you know like a color a darker color of the food like uh, anything with the black and the uh, or roots there can nutrient kidney more and uh, of course I have a certain kidney kidney like a uh, food medicine medicine the food for the medicine certain herbal remedy particularly for the kidney also traditional Chinese medicine see one thing is uh, take one organ, nutrient one organ. So if you don't mind eating some animal kidney, that'd be good in nutrient too. It makes perfect yeah. sense. All right, thanks Dr. Lee, Thank that's you. great. So Dr. Lee, the element of the winter season is water. So what's the element of the spring season? Oh, spring season is a wood element, is a liver. Oh, that makes sense because yeah. all the green shoots and the leaves and the trees are growing again mm -hmm. in the spring. So that makes sense to be the wood element. Yes. So it's yin organ is liver. Yang organ is a gallbladder. Okay. So, um, the liver and the gallbladder are associated to the wood organ. So, um, what are the other body parts associated? Oh, there's the five I wood element. In five element, the wood element is my favorite. One of another favorite element. The wood element, yin organ, the liver, yang organ, gallbladder, opening to the eye, relieve the tendon, and uh, relieve the emotion. They say in the, in the all the book here writing writing down the anger but in my opinion if they are liver young too high relieve the anger if they are liver chi stagnation relieve the depression mm. so the two emotion but the book mostly in writing is the is anger, anger. Yeah, yeah that's true actually a lot of the um a lot of the textbooks always tend to mention the negative organ of when yeah. something's out of balance and that's anger but of course, if something's in balance, they can be very good at decision making. They can yes. be, they can be ambitious and competitive, yes. um, and want to strive for greatness. Mm -hmm. um, mentioning the wood element, wood makes me think of tree roots and how tree roots are so strong and decisive, and they're going to go in any direction they want to go in, even if you put a wall in front of the tree roots, the tree root will grow around the wall. That's very strong aspect of wood element and that decision making and that ambition of I'm going to succeed. So yeah. I can see that the wood element um, might get a bad reputation for being associated with anger but when it's balanced somebody could be very very um, uh, uh, productive and achieve an awful lot in their life. High achiever. Mm. I agree with you. I find in liver is uh, used in a positive way, it's a really good personality. They hard on themselves, 
hard on people around them, but they got job done. Mm. So a lot of um, people have ADD, ADHD, and uh, you know, push them hard, very, very hard. You know, is one of really the liver. Mm. And uh, this, uh, everything has yin and yang, both Absolutely. ways. Absolutely, it does. It does. So the wood element, um, even though it has a yin organ, the liver, and a yang organ, the gallbladder, uh, if it's season is spring, spring makes me think of yang. It makes me think of action, of growth, expansion. Um, and it makes me think of green as well. The color of the wood element uh, makes me think of, of green because it's when all the, the green shoots are sprouting through. Yes, I find in, yeah, they say eating for your season. So in the spring season is the time to nutrient the liver. Mm. I remember when I teaching the class, you teaching the class the same thing too. We say the time for the liver. So time for nutrient the liver. You need eating for this season. Mm. You need to take care of the liver. You need a receiving acupuncture for this season. So they all the seasonal treatment. Definitely. And of course here in Canada everyone's so desperate for spring because in the winter they've been so much more still and indoors spring comes along everyone's itching to get outside and get moving and that movement is really helpful for the wood element yes it doesn't like to be compressed yes i finding this one is a pretty good um a picture here maybe give uh, people a little basic knowledge you can see the picture here and uh, you know this mean liver in you know like this uh, called wood element they relate to your eye you know any eye disease people are thinking eye disease you know when you say optometrist in traditional Chinese medicine for eye maybe not not just eye problem themselves is you is a liver problem mm. so they uh, see the eye can treating diagnose a liver problem so the eye and the tendon even the nail right. yeah they all relate the liver so they know they writing clearly colorful to showing people what's wrong with the perfect organ perfect element. yeah because nails can be really tricky to to treat if mm -hmm. someone has brittle nails or dry nails and they break easily i know lots of people will take lots of supplements and try painting their nails and it's an area that uh is hard to to treat tradition uh, um uh Ordinarily, yes, but with traditional Chinese medicine, uh, we're not focusing on the nails, which are just an, an extension. We're focusing on the internal body. Yes, I find in, in this organ, this five element relate the liver. If we see before kidney, qi, kidney, what element relate a lot of male, and I think uh, we can give this a wood element. If I say give to female, I think uh, that's uh, really important. Because the liver is a major organ in female's life. From female age, I know 12, 13, when the periods start, to the menstrual periods ending close to 50, liver play a big part in female's mm -hmm. hormone system. See? Yes, yeah, definitely that makes sense because the wood element's job is to keep everything flowing nicely and smoothly. And as I said, it doesn't, like, it won't tolerate obstruction. It needs to have space to keep flowing, and hormones are exactly that. They need to keep a smooth flow. They don't tolerate obstruction and change. Yes, for that, um, like I see, we are, I'm specialty to treating infertility patients. A lot of my infertility patients, you know, is with uh, this wood element mm. disorder of balance, mm. and especially at the COVID time, we are in there after COVID 19. We have in three months, we have a 40 infertility couple mm -hmm. come into treating infertility. Mm -hmm. I think 80% uh, of them, the major organ disorder of balance is the wood element they yes. liver. And that would make perfect sense because our COVID lockdown happened mm -hmm. in spring, in the wood element time. Yes. So uh, I know the action of the wood element is awakening. It's, it's that transition from being asleep to being awake. It's a, it's a growth, it's a yang, it's an action. So if someone isn't able to do those things during the springtime, it will have a knock on through all of the other five elements because they're all connected, our seasons are all connected. Exactly. 
I find him, you know, for wood element when you're treating female condition, no matter they are fraternity, menstrual periods, pain, cancer, and, uh, you know, any type of emotional disorder of balance, all related with the liver, so we can use the uh, treatment, right? Yeah. To treating them. Also, I have a story here to share. I have a, like a wood element relieve emotion, the anger, like we see, huh? And uh, we treating a lot of patients with the anger. And um, when they came in for treat, for example, I have a patient, and uh, she she working on the radio shooting a special program on the TV from Ontario, come to Nova Scotia every half years to shooting a season. She came in to see me. I do an organ function testing, which use the five elements necessary to treating five uh, to do diagnose first. So when we treating her after after the organ function testing, I sitting down explain to her what her liver, her organ with a um, long term drink a coffee, smoking, and the stress level night night, you know don't have a sleep, working hard, liver getting disorder of a balance, liver chi, you know, young, all disorder of a balance. Mm -hmm. She really, really getting anger, getting upset. <laughs> she said, I come here to treating, to relieve, <laughs> not be scared. She's so angry. <laughs> she says, I, I'm so disappointed. I don't want to see you anymore. I'm just not, now I'm looking for, I give her all the advice she should cutting down coffee, cutting down smoking, and uh, all the lifestyle changes, drink a lot of, you know, eating a lot of green leaf vegetable, and uh, some, uh, some specially for liver cleansing. So she just walk away. Half years later, she come back. This is another season she's shooting in Halifax. She said, Dr. Lee, I'm so sorry that day. I, my anger just get off on me. After I go home in Ontario, I do exactly you see. I feel so much better. Right now I'm come back, I have a half years. Give me all the treatment you you, you need to do and I'm all yours, mm -hmm. treating me. <laughs> she have excellent results. After that, for 10 years, she come back for treatment. Fly back from Ontario to Halifax, have a treatment. This one, and then she refer all her colleagues come in for treatment. Idea is that day she's anger because her liver young so high. Yeah. Her anger is it not her fault. The receptionist say, "Oh, what happened?" I say, "Is it not her fault? It's her, her anger." So liver. we have a lot of patient tell the husband, "Don't mind me. It's not my fault. It's, <laughs> it's my, my liver young too." <laughs> so it's very yeah. funny there. And of course, some people may say, "Oh no, I'm not angry. I don't feel angry." but they may feel easily frustrated yes. or they may feel easily irritable or just not tolerate things very easily. And that also all comes under the same umbrella. So anger doesn't have to be shouting at people. It can be um, easily irritable and frustrated easily. Yes, all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so thanks, liver is a good organ. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that. Thank you. if the wood element resonates with the spring season um, what does the summer element resonate the summer season resonate with oh summer relief the heart oh, oh that's the most important heart uh, heart is yin organ yang organ is small intestines okay so I guess well with summer I think of heat so the summer is a fire organ the fire element I should say um, and that makes sense because you need wood element to make a fire. So the fire element is the peak of yang. It's the hottest time of our year, hopefully. Uh, and so it's the hottest uh, element that we have as well. Does that make sense? It resonates with the heart. Yes. All fire element, if we in all five element, all the emotion, you know, like uh, water is fear, liver is anger, and uh, Spleen is a uh, worry mm -hmm. and uh, lung is a sadness, mm -hmm. right? And the only one in the five elements they call positive energy <laughs> is a heart, right? right? Fire element, joy, 
joy, right, that's right, joy, excitability, spontaneity, people that just love to think on their feet and, you know, shoot the breeze and, and, uh, and not plan too much. And we all have those carefree days of summer. Where does that phrase come from? The carefree days of summer. It's because we're all joyful. Yes. Because our fire element is is uh, is rising and in, and it's in its place. So the season is summer. I'm assuming the color is red of the fire element. Yeah, red. Um, and it, it makes me think of the warmest places that would be south. The direction would be south, and the hottest part of the day as well. Yes. So I suppose um, midday is when we're most awake, when we're active. So the fire element is about activity and wakefulness and and uh, really living life to the fullest. Yes, hard element is a, or fire element. We live the hard. That one is a really special element, and I think that one element means a lot to me because I find him from in Western medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, view the heart, so total different point of view. There a lot of confusion and a lot of story as well. There's one thing, and uh, I think I have a one story is, uh, uh, almost 25 years ago, we teach in Qigong at the, the Hase University. One of the special doctor is an internal medicine specialist, is our student learn Qigong. He said, Dr. Li, and uh, I'm internal medicine specialist there. According to Western medicine, heart um, is uh, bump the blood, and uh, you, you see the heart is the housing of the mind, right? Mm -hmm. Is that it's called housing of the mind? Housing of the mind, absolutely. Yes, and uh, they say, but um, do you have any scientific proof? That time I say, no, traditional Chinese medicine don't have a scientific proof right now. And, um, I, that time I answer, maybe scientists need to continually developing this technology to prove traditional Chinese medicine because, you know, like uh, maybe too advanced. So he say, okay, he, he say, okay, that way he let it go. So two years later, he called me, he said, Dr. Lee, I may be finding some proof for you. I say, really, that's great. Let me know what. He said, you know, I'm finding a book, which is this book. A Change of Heart. Yeah, The Change of a Heart, writing by and a, a person have a heart transplant. You should read the book, it's an amazing book. And the after heart transplant, her total personality all mm -hmm. changed. She started drink beer, motorcycle, before she's a classy lady. So she finding what happened, so she look into her heart owner. For chance she finding her heart owner is a young young man, mm -hmm. died with a you know, ex car accident. Right. So this one thing, after that she this same author look into other people, you know, after change your heart, finding a lot of amazing heart touch story. Mm -hmm. So this one, this is not the ending the story. They say, oh, it's wonderful. And then that time I have a patient, the movie producer. I say, you know, I give the book to him. So shooting this, maybe you should look into the book, become a movie. Explain to them traditional Chinese medicine, heart is housing of the mind. Mm -hmm. Prove we are right. So two years, another two years passed, he called me. He said, Dr. Lee, can, you know, this weekend, can you go to VG Hospital? I say, why? He said, we're shooting the movie in VG Hospital. The author want to meet you. So that's why we even have a movie about this book. Oh, fantastic. Uh, it's a fantastic movie, you know, but uh, in the movie, he didn't mention traditional Chinese medicine <laughs> at all. I said, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I have a similar story, Dr. Lee, a family member of mine, they had to have heart surgery. And they didn't have a heart transplant, but they, they needed a valve replacement. And their consultant actually said to us as a family, expect personality changes in oh. this person after they've had heart surgery. Well, of course, the rest of my family just didn't pay any attention to it. So the family member has the heart surgery and of course had the personality changes, suddenly became much more anxious, uncontrollable anxiety. Um, had difficulty 
um, with spontaneity, have difficulty with being awake and being active. Uh, lots of personality changes. Uh, lost a sense of rationality. Even though their condition was fixed and they were no longer at risk. And of course I said to the rest of my family, I said, do you remember that the consultant told us mm -hmm. they will have personality changes? And they said, oh, well, th that's ridiculous. How could that possibly happen? And I said, well, the, the Chinese medicine says that's exactly what happens. The heart houses the mind, the spirit of somebody. So even if that heart has to be stopped to be repaired, when it's restarted again, it's like the person's out of sync with themselves because the Shen, the heart, the fire element has, has been disturbed. And it took a year of working with her, with Chinese medicine, <clears throat> to rebalance her heart, to settle her fire organ again, her fire element again, and she's back to the person that she was. I could have kissed her consultant when he told us that that will happen, because immediately I thought to myself, you're thinking about things from a Chinese medicine perspective. Maybe they didn't recognize. I don't think he did recognize it, and I didn't kiss him. But in my heart, in my heart, I was joyful uh, because I knew that I knew what he was talking about made sense. Five element theory always, everyone's always got an experience of five element theory because it it resonates with all of our lives, um, and the fire organ, the fire element, the heart. Uh, we all feel it. We all feel joy in our heart. There's so many songs that have those lyrics in. Um, and it's about it, uh, intimacy. We fall in love with our heart. Everything's heart-shaped. It's a, It makes sense. It's a fire element. <clears throat> yes. So it's the primary organ is the heart, and its zang <clears throat> organ is the small intestines. Does it associate with any other parts of the body? Oh, the... Blood vessel. Oh, that makes yeah, sense. That yeah, that makes sense, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. the blood vessels, and so you'll see the heart, the fire element on the complexion, with the blood pumping through the vessels. As long as it pumps well, uh, then someone has a good rosy pink complexion. Uh, also, related to small intestines, maybe a lot of times uh, when people have an irritable bowel syndrome, sometimes you know they do relate the stress. Mm you know, anxiety. Absolutely. Too, right? Yeah, anxiety is one of the biggest causes of digestive disorders. Mm -hmm. Makes perfect sense. It's all the fire element. Yes. Thanks, Dr. Lee. Thank you. So after the fire element, Dr. Lee, that leaves us with the earth element. It's easy to remember that fire is followed by earth because when you make a fire, you're left with the ashes and you turn those ashes into your soil at mm -hmm. home to give nutrients to your, to your vegetable patch. So the earth element, personally, I always describe it as the harvest element. Yes. I love to teach the earth element during the uh, fall semester because it's the fall time. It's so easy to see all around us the earth element is harvest time. So I know Chinese medicine describes that season as late summer and it can be difficult for some people to understand what that means because traditionally we grow up in the Western world with four seasons. But Chinese medicine has a fifth element, a fifth season, and that's late summer. And that's why this year has been a perfect example because September, October, even the beginning of November, it was really warm. We had warm, sunny days but then cool evenings. And that's a, why I love to teach earth element in the fall semester. It's earth element time. You see that late summer, you see the harvest coming. And it really resonates well with the color of the earth element, which is orange. You mm -hmm. see all the pumpkins around, the leaves start to turn orange. It's that beautiful golden season, I find. Yes, <clears throat> for earth element, I think it's spleen stomach, right? Yin organ spleen, yang organ stomach. And the spleen stomach is uh, for produce qi, mm -hmm. produce blood. Is uh, you know, after birth, from, you know, like the very beginning, you on your own, earth element play a big part mm -hmm. in human's life. 
So if your earth element strong, you will grow strong. Right. Your chi strong, blood strong. Right, and that makes sense with the the um, location of the earth element is all, is often said as being central. Yes. Because it's it's uh, it's our root, really, isn't it? It's our homely core, as you said. When we're born, we're on our own. It's the the very center of us, our spleen, our earth element, that has to support everything else around it. Yes. So in the clinic, for example, a lot of people have earth element deficiency. They need a really good treatment. Otherwise, you know, they be got a anemia and uh, you know, qi deficiency, blood deficiency, fatigue and a lot of disease related to earth element even fibromyalgia mm -hmm. because the earth element in organ young organ they relate the tissue is the muscle absolutely yeah a lot of muscle aching pain we're not only thinking just uh, treating the pain we're treating earth element to nutrient the earth can be treating muscle pain fibromyalgia is a rheumatoid disease so they are having a tendon muscle, right? Mm -hmm. So I treating earth element a lot to in in turn to treating fibromyalgia have excellent results. Yes, that and that's a really helpful way to look at it because fibromyalgia from a Western medicine perspective is so difficult to treat, mm -hmm. and the treatment method is really only. Um, uh, anti-inflammatories and painkillers. Mm -hmm. I know from a Chinese medicine perspective, we're always uh, looking at a, the big picture of how to treat a condition. And fibromyalgia, because it's a muscle condition, um, it relates with the earth element, but it's also, Western medicine says it's a rheumatology, a blood condition. So, well that's okay, because Chinese medicine says the earth element, the spleen and the stomach, help to make our blood help to make our energy. So if either of those things are affected, it comes down to our earth element. Yes. Makes perfect sense. And if we don't harvest our food, we don't have any energy. Exactly. And that's why I always like to call it the harvest element. Yes. I remember that element really, really mean a lot to me too. Is a, I think that is a 31, 32 years ago, we, uh, me and the doctor Frank Clinton, we write treating patient. That time they call in Canada, treating patient called fibrositis. That time, when we treating patient, that time a lot of doctors think of fibrositis is uh, just a patient in their mind. Mention this pain, they they always uh, don't give a pay too much attention. Mm -hmm. So that time we using acupuncture, treating more earth element. Mm -hmm. Also treating wood elements, the two major elements we're treating have excellent results. So we're writing a research paper. So we're presenting 32 years ago in Paris, International Acupuncture Conference, writing down how to using acupuncture and treating fibrositis. We got a great response. A lot of people wish you have our research paper so they can treat in patient. And uh, then 30 some years past, I find it right now, the all doctor overdose, over diagnose of fiber, fiber magic. Any patient complain too much, they give a label fiber magic, magic, fiber magic there. So for that, you know, this, um, this uh, people change it. But uh, you know, idea is uh, this uh, element is working really good. Yes. Um, uh, earth element is something that uh, I hear every student when they first learn five element theory they all say oh my earth element is weak because the earth element is associated with the mentalities of overthinking and yeah. over worrying and um, like I said thinking about things too much so of course when students are studying they're worried about whether they're gonna succeed they're worried about whether they're understanding the material, they're staying up late, they're thinking a lot, their earth element starts to become deficient, so they start to get muscle aches and fatigues and they start to get digestive problems. Yes. And uh, so I can guarantee every student in their first year at TCM okay. school <clears throat> has an earth element problem. But as you said, Dr. Lee, we don't just treat those individual things. We don't say, well, it's all in your head, it's in their head because they're over worrying because that's the mental state of the earth element. 
everything gets pulled together. Earth element is so important because it's the foundation of the, you know, to keep people alive there. Mm -hmm. And um, for example, uh, this, you have to pay a close attention to nutrient earth element. Last year, 2019, I, in uh, September, October, I got a call, like my brother called, say my mom, she's 84, she cannot uh, eat any food she come in, she vomited out. Mm -hmm. So I, that's why with you guys support, I fly back home. First we do is working on the earth element. Yes. And then use the food, the nutrient, nutrient mm -hmm. the food, right? Use some rice, congee, and the nutrient her. Because the Western medicine give up there, right? That time when I go home, they give up. They use the IV, she refuse IV. Then if you don't have a food, you don't use the IV, you have no, you just uh, ending up life. Right. So that's why we use the traditional Chinese medicine acupuncture with the food and uh, you know, like uh, because herbal supplements cannot use it either because she vomited everything out. So like uh, we traditional Chinese medicine working on, so like uh, with the step by step, step by step, she can eat a little rice, tiny little bit, then little more, right now she back normal oh, again. That's wonderful. So I feel so thankful. I find in traditional Chinese medicine, me you know, helping a lot of patients that way they helping my mom. And I think if I don't learn traditional Chinese medicine, I you know, I only sitting there, worry, cry, nothing I can do. Because I learned traditional Chinese medicine, I can use my knowledge in my hand to save her life. So that means a lot to me. Yeah. Yeah. And that pulls it all beautifully together because the yin organ of the earth element is spleen and the yang organ is stomach. It's the digestive system and it explains how the digestive system and we need to eat to transition food into energy to keep us going, to keep our energy going. So if somebody doesn't eat, they don't nourish their earth element. Yes. Our digestive organs can't work to transition that food into energy. So looking after the earth element is really fundamental and it sounds to me like the best way to do that is to eat little and often use yes. food as medicine to nourish and nurture the digestive system yes great thank, thank you, you. so the fifth element we have left is the metal element i have to be honest here it's my favorite element I feel like I resonate with the metal element more than any of the others, uh, for good things and for bad things. Um, the yin organ of the metal element is the lungs, yes. and I know it's the lungs for me where I, I feel things, I receive emotions to my lungs, um, and the yang organ is large intestine, and I, I know that uh, every morning between 4 and 5 a.m. in the morning I will wake up, and it's my lung and my large intestine that's waking me up. I'll get back to sleep, but every morning I wake up and I look at my clock, I see the time and I say to myself, oh, hello, metal element. There you are, waking me up again. So, um, uh, the metal element resonates with this time of year. It's the autumn. So it's when things start to get colder. We've had the fall of late summer. Uh, the golden color has gone. And as you can see outside, it's grayer. The color of metal, it's grayer. It's uh, whiter. Yes. Mm, this element, I just want to share one thing with you there. When I'm teaching, I'm teaching meridian massage, which is meridian massage of students are working on each meridian related to each organ. So a lot of, uh, in a lot of classes, students have a different feelings. I have a, in, when I teach in one class for two students, especially when they're working on the long reading, they start to feel crying and, you know, start to, like they go, start cry. So you ask, one of the students, I ask, what happened to you? She said, you know, I lost my father a year ago. So they holding so tight when they're working the long element, long reading, with a, you know, suddenly the sadness come to her. Yes. She started to cry, release. 
So you know the emotion is a sadness. The emotion is sadness, yes. definitely, and grief. But, but we all feel sadness, and mm -hmm. I think what's important with the metal element, sometimes metal, you can think of it as a suit of armor, and you keep everything in, and you keep everything tight. But you can also think of metal elements as a bucket, and that bucket, we are the bucket, and it gets filled up with emotions, and eventually they have to overflow. And so crying is always a good thing. It's yes. just an expression of overflow from our metal element. Yes. It's always better out than in. Because the metal element doesn't like to be kept uh, full. It's, uh, it's associated organs, I know, are the skin and the respiratory system. And if you think about it, we always like to keep our skin clean. We, keep, we like to keep our nose clean, our lungs clear. So the metal element is, uh, is about keeping our body um, open and clear. Exactly. I find in, you know, like uh, for the relief, the skin, a lot of time we treat in um, eczema, skin condition, and uh, we all treating on the metal element because they are at metal element, relief the skin. Mm. So skin keep skin beauty you have to internal regulate balance absolutely and of course western science acknowledges that most cases of asthma childhood asthma mm -hmm. particularly come with eczema at the same time so okay. what we see is this combination pattern of a respiratory disorder and a skin disorder at the same time yes. chinese medicine <laughs> has the answer for that it makes perfect sense because it comes under the metal element yes there are a lot of herbal rape not the herbal remedy. They are a lot of herbal remedy for metal element. They all have a lot of herbal food is the medicine for the lung mm. for the lung as well. Yeah. I, I know every autumn, uh, Doctor Lee, you so <laughs> kindly always bring me Chinese pears. Yes. To keep my uh, voice strong and to keep my lungs nourished and moist. So as I'm teaching, we get into teaching uh, in the fall semester. And you know it can be hard uh, portraying, expressing your lungs so much. So you always bring me Chinese pears to, to because they resonate with the metal element. Yes, to keep it healthy. Yes, and uh, for the, this year is a you know is a special year, twenty twenty. A lot of um, is a is a I think a, called you know related a lot lot on the, of a metal element. The metal element very serious uh, affecting by one organ disease, mm. lung, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. COVID-19 is a lung disease. Yes, and um, in Chinese medicine, it's our metal element that's really the root of our immune system. So keeping um, our metal element strong is a really uh, effective way to keep our immune system strong. Chinese medicine says that pathogens, diseases, enter the body through the skin, as well as through the respiratory system, the nose, the mouth. Mm -hmm. And so if we keep our metal element strong, then we're able to keep our immunity strong and stop um, pathogenic invasions. And this year, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely been a challenge. Challenge year. And uh, you know, because uh, don't have a particular clear treatment. So, you know, nutrient the metal element, nutrient the lung, and uh, you know, is one of the best way to keep us definitely yeah. chinese medicine always always focuses on prevention is better than cure yes definitely we can help you in your time of ill health but if we can prevent you from getting unwell that's even better so the metal element is very very um <clears throat> focused on that prevention and particularly uh the mentality of the metal element is organization uh, and it's justice. Metal element really needs fairness and rules. And uh, I think justice, I always associate justice and fairness with preventative health. You know, we, we're keeping everything equal and balanced. Um, it's an injustice if somebody becomes unwell. So to keep somebody in a state of good health is keeping them in a fair, in a fair balance. Yes, so metal element, you know, is one of a really important element to helping people getting mm. balance. Absolutely. And uh, because, uh, you know, relieve the lung, lung is the number one organ mm. to keep us healthy, right? Mm. 
and uh, it's uh, important to healing through the lung to reach a balance of uh, balance of large intensity because the young organ is a large intensity so we can take care of the both organ right. to balance the both organ this is a major organ right now we through the food through the herbal remedy through acupuncture treatment mm -hmm. to helping this uh, metal element getting regular balance especially 2020 is a major major organ everyone should be treated to be balanced to be <coughs> healing to be take cared for this uh, lung and the metal element mm -hmm. if for uh, acupuncture you have opportunity to have acupuncture is great and some uh, herbal certain food and uh, you know even acupressure absolutely acupressure and the mentality of uh, the sort of the action of the metal element is is described as quietening meditation so um, the uh, time of the metal element it resonates with dusk and if you think about what happens in dusk all the birds stop chattering all the animals go to sleep and bury down and as human beings we're settling in for the night, we're getting quiet, we start to relax. So meditative processes also help to um, nourish the metal element. Acupressure massage, yeah. very calming, very relaxing, directly stimulates the skin, helps to quieten the mind and quieten the body so that the metal ele element can be replenished. Yes, I think you know through acupressure build up immunity and uh, one of these uh, major build up immunity is working on the lung meridian and uh, working on the metal element, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely, yeah. And we all, as adults particularly, we hold sadnesses and griefs from lots and lots of different situations. Not always bereavements, sometimes a change of job or a change of direction or anything that defined us. If your children go away to college, Empty nest syndrome affects the lung element because your role has shifted. So a lot of people are experiencing that this year. So the metal element is really being challenged through uh, pathogens, through the respiratory organs and systems, but also through, also through the emotions as well. Yeah. So we really need to, to work on it. And this is the perfect time for it. It's autumn. It's um, that transition back into yin from the yang of the summer. So uh, metal elements, are, that's why everyone gets coughs and colds and sniffles in the autumn. It's because of the metal element. Yes, also in traditional Chinese medicine, five elements, they have each element have a mother and each element have a son. So like a mother-son relationship and they also have an element to control on this element so they won't be over uh, overgrow uh, yeah. or over you know all the country for example this uh, for metal element this year metal element you know if that this metal element they are water element metal is a metal is a mother, mother of, of a water, water element if your metal element weak your water element you know, weak as well, your mother weak, son weak. Mm. So people maybe have a lot of fear. I think of it as 2020, people either have a lot of fear or have a lot of anger. Mm. So the two there, for a lot of anger is, you know, is a, you know, metal element too weak. When they're too weak, metal supposed to control the wood. The wood just overgrow. You need the metal trim them down. Exactly. Without the trimness, the wood overgrow a lot of anger. Mm. So I, if I, at least my personal opinion is the two, two type of feeling. Yes. Fear of course have a fear too, right? Of course, yeah. of course. Yeah. But of course that makes sense as well. Uh, Across the world, we're seeing mm -hmm. second waves of COVID hit in the autumn time. Mm -hmm. The first wave was in the springtime. Mm -hmm. So the first wave was in the wood element. The second yes. wave was in the metal element. Yeah. And metal and wood need to control each other. Absolutely. We need an axe to chop our trees down. Otherwise, our garden grows out of control. Yes. Um, and suffocates everything else. Takes all of the water because the trees are too thirsty. Um, disturbs the whole balance within the five elements. So metal that's why i love metal it, it's quiet it's 
it's uh, non-assuming, it sort of keeps itself to itself a bit metal, but it's crucial to enable all of the other elements to be able to flourish and do their jobs like water, but also to be able to stay contained um, like wood. Yes, in traditional Chinese medicine, become best doctor of traditional Chinese medicine, best acupuncture practitioner. I think uh, understanding your five elements means a lot because you're not only treating one element's condition, you have to oversee other. The mother, the son, or the country, you need to balance them all for, for best possible results. Definitely, yeah. and Dr. Lee, that's why with my first year students, mm -hmm. I always get them to fill in a quiz uh, that helps them just figure out which, uh, how, well, how their element balance is. Because, as I said, we're not just one element. All of us have all five elements. But I always encourage students to take this quiz just for fun. They're not graded on it. But it helps them understand how their five elements are balanced. And that helps them understand then themselves a little bit more, why they react in certain ways, uh, and how they can change that, how they can bring some balance back into their lives. Yes, this is really important. So become best practitioner, you know, you need the understanding of five elements. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, to keep your balance and, uh, you know, like a uh, well-being, you need the understanding of five elements from daily food change, from seasonal take care of yourself, to seasonal treatment, to, you know, like a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. All relate to the five elements. Absolutely. Yeah. It, it is every aspect of our well-being yes. because it's every aspect of our daily lives. The five element theory, um, we're not saying anything crazy. We're talking about the seasons, the um, nature, plants, animals, uh, things that everyone around the world can resonate with. So uh, I always find five element really applicable to patients as well as students. Uh, it, it's a very good way to explain to people, well, you know, this is happening because this element is out of balance. And if you don't have enough metal, then your wood element will become out of balance. And so that helps people understand that something that happened that caused them sadness and bereavement, but actually they're acting through anger. Yes. It's that combination of the elements. Yes, traditional Chinese medicine, the five element, is actually one of the, I guess, the root of the traditional Chinese medicine foundation because of the connecting nature with the human. They think a human is a part of the nature. They connecting internal with external, and uh, they connecting internal organ. They connecting mind and the body. So it's a completely the whole medicine. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Lee. Thank you. So, I know that uh, we have a fantastic book that oh, students yeah. can learn more if you're interested in more information about five element theory because we really have only scratched the surface. Mm -hmm. There's so much more uh, to, to, to learn about the five elements and traditional Chinese medicine theory as a whole because traditional Chinese medicine doesn't just use one uh, theoretical perspective. Five element theory is part of our diagnostic toolbox but we never just use it on its own. We always use yin and yang theory and zhang fu organ theory and the understandings of qi and energy and, and blood and how that works in our body as well. So um, we do have a website, tcmnaturalhealth.com. Please feel free to visit it and you can um, go into the five element theory or any other traditional Chinese medicine foundation theory in more detail if you wish to. And our textbook is available at that site as well. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dr. Lee. Thank you.